Matthew, Matthew 10, 34. Yeah, yeah. And this is the voice of Christ. Come on. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. What Christ said? Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. Uh -huh. I came not to send peace, uh -huh. but a sword. That's right. So what you doing over the sword? You put butter on the bread, eh? Yeah, but the bread. Hell yeah, no. But when you look at that word sword, on uh, uh, sword, it means to thrust, to kill, man. Look, Christ is coming. I'm coming. We don't need this. Two thirds of you got to die. Two thirds of you got to go, man. Oh, God, wicked on the jumping, man. I'm going to up. A lot of niggas wearing pink shirts, pink book bags. Got a lot of niggas wearing pink shorts, throwing their claws in the streets, man. We're not dying. We're not dying. We're not dying. This is Amos. Amos chapter 5, verse 18. Yeah, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Yeah. To what end is it for you? And what is it what? To what end is it for you? Why you desire the day of the Lord? Oh, I can't wait till Jesus come back. Why you desire the day of the Lord? I'm most likely going to come and kill your ass. You're not even doing the will of the Heavenly Father. Go to my brother or sister or mother is doing the will of the Heavenly Father. That's right. If you're not doing the will of the Heavenly Father, you're not my brother. You might be my brother in the flesh, but in the spirit, you ain't my brother, man. So no time looking for soldiers, man. That's to right. Judge, man. That's right. These flying states, man. Yeah, right. He's trying to wake up what the valley to drop bone. Y'all the valley to drop bone, yeah. man. So no time trying to put sea news and meat on your skin, which that right. niggas refusing hey, each hey. and every day. Darkness means what? Ignorance. Wickedness. Good. Come on. All the sinners of my people shall what? Shall die by the sword. So who's a sinner? The people that the Lord that was given to. The Lord was given to what? The nation of Israel. The most I said he gonna what? We gotta get All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. By the sword. Come on. Uh-huh. That's right, that's what y'all said. Ain't no evil gonna touch this boy. We good. Hurricanes be fast in Trinidad. So how does that change? We good. Yeah, right. Yeah, go ahead. Zechariah 13 verse 8. Yeah, come on. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, uh -huh. said the Lord, two parts therein uh -huh. shall be cut off and uh -huh. die. What they're saying? They're saying two. that two thirds of your knees will go down. That's the right. Your knees are dead on the native. Two thirds, they gotta go, man. Because what? Really, at the end of the day, a lot of y'all pussies anyway. A lot of y'all man is man jail. It takes balls to do work like this, man. It takes balls to do work like this, man. This is the real work of the Lord, man. You can be a mason, electrician, you can work for WASA, you can work for the government, any uh, uh, institute you want. But this is the real work of the Lord right here, man. That's right. Be the soldiers and stand up for the Lord, man. That's right. That's right. What you got? Give me Matthew 28 verse 18. 28 verse 18. Uh, hold on. Yes, sir. Uh, no, I'm up to today. Yeah, that's, go ahead. Uh, man. Come on. I'm Job 38 verse 3. Yeah, come on. Gird up your loins. The most I said what? Gird up your loins like a man. What? Gird up your loins like a man. Like man. Like man. The most I said what? Gird up, up your loins like a like man. man. Gird up your loins. Gird up your loins like a man. For I will demand of thee. Come on. And answer thou me. Uh huh. That's right. That's right. So gird that loins, my brother. I'm not going to I'm coming hard on you because I love you, man. Of course, tough, tough love, man. That's right, man. Right. We are here because we love our people, man. That's right. Not because we hate y'all, man. Well, a lot of people talk about our backs or talk in front of us. They yeah. talk this shit, bud. They wicked, bud. But since you've been here, my brother, how many scriptures came out? You can't even count them, right? Because we coming with what? Thus says the Lord. Yeah, go ahead, read, read, read. Second Timothy 2, verse 4. Yeah, come on. No man that wore it and uh -huh. dangle himself come on. with the affairs of this life, uh -huh. that he may please him uh -huh. who had chosen him to uh -huh. be a soldier. To be a soldier, man. That's so right. we don't entangle ourselves with the affairs of this life, man. Right. We don't go on these damn concerts or dance off. Just give me a light. But we ain't down with that shit, man. That's right. We down with the real light and the knowledge. That's, That's right. right. Forget Sean Paul. Forget uh, Montano. The, the, the giving of life that we want is the light of the Heavenly Father. The Word. The knowledge. Alright? Yeah, know any truth. Matthew chapter 28, verse 8. Yeah, come on, let's dance with it, man. Now which I came. Come on. And speak unto them, saying. Come on. All power. All power is given unto me. All power is given to the Lord, man. All power is given to him. 
Yeah. Like the world knows Christ, but his real name is Yahweh Shah. Right. The most high name is Yahweh. I'm going to stress that name, man. Right? Because the name is for y'all. Once you have that name, guess what? It unlocks some mystery in your mind. Right. Right. Now it's not coming to you, man. Right. Right. They ain't going to get no name knowledge in this damn Jesus. They ain't no Jesus. I can't know Jesus. I know Jesus. I know Jesus. But the true name is given to the nation of Israel, the elect. Yes, right. Yeah, come on, read, read, read. In heaven and in earth. And what? In heaven and in earth. That's right. In heaven and in earth. Now let's dance a little bit. Let's go to Philippians two nine through ten. Let's go to Philippians 9, uh, 2, 9 through 10, man. Right? Don't tell me that. Hold up, hold up. Now give me a, a, a Philippians 2, 9 through 10. This is Philippians 2, verse 9. No, hold on, my brother. Hold on, hold on. All right, come on, come on. Philippians 2, verse 9. Yes, come on. Wherefore, Yahweh also had highly exalted him right. and had given him a name. Start over, start over. Pull up, pull up. All right. Good, good. Well, this is Philippians 2 verse 9. Yeah, come on. Wherefore, Yahweh also highly exalted him. Come on. Given him a name which is above every yeah, name. Yeah, so that name is above every name. It can't be when I told my Jesus. When you go to Puerto Rico, you know what I mean? Babies is named Jesus. When you go to Dominican, you know how many um, babies named Jesus? That's right. Yeah, when you go to America, you know how many people named Jesus? So how the hell can there be a holy name? <laughs> so put up on that and read that again, my brother. Wherefore well, the most high. Hey, give me some 30 on. Uh, 30 on. Uh, 4, 5. Uh, 4, 5. Uh, 4, 5. Uh, 4, 5. Uh, yeah, yeah, come on, give me that. Wherefore well, also. Wherefore, the Most High also had highly exalted him uh -huh. and given him a name which is above every name. Yeah, so the name is above all names. Go ahead. That at that name of Yahweh Shai, every knee should bow. Every knee shall bow. Of things of in heaven. In heaven. And things in the earth. In the earth. And things under the earth. Come on. And every tongue shall confess uh -huh. that Yahweh Shai Mashiach Come on. is a savior to the glory uh -huh. of the heavenly Father. That's right, man. Right. 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 The heavenly glory, man. Give me Isaiah 45. Give me a, oh, a, a, yeah, I wanted that yeah. proper. Yeah. Stop up, stop up, Read that for me, all right? Who are what? Who are ascended up into heaven? Who ascended up to heaven? Now, now give me a prophecy. Uh, give me a, a scripture. Give me Acts. I believe it's one. I believe it's um eight. And now we're gonna break that scripture down. All right, give me that real quick. Give me Acts one. And we're gonna tell you how Christ went up. Cause he said, "Who has ascended?" Go ahead. He said, Who? Heaven said they were born. Come on, who has ascended up into heaven? Come on, who has ascended? So it's word of us Christ, but his name is real name is Yahweh Shah. Go ahead. Act one verse nine. Come on. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. So what cloud is that? He's talking about the chariot. He told me that cloud. He's talking about the chariot. That's right. As a white man call it, you have holes outside. So you have holes to us as an IFO, identifying flying object. That's right. Those chariots are the chariots for what? For the nation of Israel. That's right. So That's when right. Christ went up, guess what? He went up in what? In a chariot. That's right. All right, you got a picture? And just the way Elijah went up, just the way Enoch went up, they went in what? In a chariot. Those right. chariots do exist. You can see them with your eyes once in a while. Stars be moving. Going back and forth. Ah. Examine stars once in a while, right? Yeah, so, guys. I'm talking about the um, slaves. This is like you Swing low, sweet chariots. Right? Come on. Why would they say swing low, sweet chariots? So the chariots will rule the go. That's right. Swing low, sweet chariots. Come as what the chariots That's right. right? Yeah. Now, you finished with that, brother? Because I don't want to lose my train of thought. Yeah, 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 yeah. And why they look? But step, and while they looked steadfastly towards heaven, come on, as he went up, behold, two men stood by him uh -huh. in white apparel. Yeah, come on, read on. Which also said, Ye men of Galilee, uh -huh. why stand ye gazing 
up into heaven. Come on! This same Yahweh Shai, which is taken up from you uh -huh. into heaven, come on. shall so come in like manner uh -huh. as you have seen him go into heaven. So just like when he went up, he gonna come back down. And uh -huh. But guess what? When he comes back next time around, he coming with a lot of black angels. Yeah. Well, there's gonna be millions of um, angels. Yeah. And the angels are blood, by the way. They're not white, but blonde hair. But naked with a towel. That's oh, right. They black men, just says the scriptures. And we're gonna report on that real quick. Give me Ezekiel 1. Uh, uh, verse I'm uh, seven. I won't lose my train of thought. Revelations one and seven. Yeah, good. Behold, he coming with clouds. He coming with what? With clouds. Huh, Christ and coming back? With clouds. With clouds. Come on. And every eye shall see him. Every eye gonna see him. And they that also which pierce him. Uh -huh. And all kindreds of the earth shall wear because right. of him. And who pierced them? The Romans. The Roman. centurions. The Romans and centurions are here today. That's called what? Reincarnation. Back in a flesh. Sure, sure. I can't send me. Come on. They call you a force. I'm flying source. Uh -huh. They do exist. That's why they call you Chinese anymore. And they don't look like no damn aliens like That's independent states. They black men with afros. Alright, now give me Ezekiel 1. This is Ezekiel 1 and verse 4. Right. Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 7. Read on. And their feet were straight feet. Come on. And the sole of their feet was like the sole of a car. That's right. They mean they had like ninja books. They are sandals. Go ahead. And they sparkle uh -huh. like the color of burnished brass. What burnished brass mean? Yeah, when you put brass in a furnace, what color would you get? You will get black, dark. So the angels are what? Black men. That's right. Don't get caught up with that movie, um, Legions, man. That movie's a um, blast for me, man. That's right. And the angels want this damn white man so bad, man. Oh, the brass, brass yeah. The brass. That's brass right there, man. The brass. The angels are black men. Just like his brother complexion. Just like his brother complexion, man. Look at that. An angel sometimes... Man, try to watch your own complexion. Like brass. All right? You guys go back to Proverbs 30. Yeah, yeah. Let's turn it up. Psalms 68 verse 17. Yeah, read on, brother. The chariots of God are 20,000. That's right. The chariots of God is what? 20,000. 20,000. Come on. Even thousands of angels. Even thousands of angels, man. The Lord is among them. That's right. And angels are around us right now. Right. It said the angels are camping with them that fear him. We fear the Lord, so there's angels around him, but you don't see them. All right? Go ahead. And also, we are angels of the Lord, too. Angel, yeah. The word angels mean what? It means messenger. We give you a message to tell you, repent, repent. The kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. Your time is short. All right, now let's go back to Proverbs 30. Ah, uh, said Proverbs 30 verse 4. Good. He said, who? I just set it up. We just gave you, we just told you who ascended. That's who what? Christ. Go ahead. Oh, descended. Go ahead, read on, read on. This, uh, who and what? Descended. Yeah, that's right. He came down here and he died for our sins, right? Go ahead. Right, like that, like John, like John 1. Go ahead. He said, who has got it? What, who he says, so like uh -huh. who has gathered the wind in his fist? That's right. Who gathered the wind in his fist? Can Christ uh, control the wind? You remember when the ship was rocking and the storm was coming, and he rebuilt the winds? Come here, brothers, right. know this. He That's rebuilt right. the winds. That's right. Now go ahead, read on, brother. He said, "Who has bound the waters in a, in a garment?" Yeah, who has bound the water in his garment? Come on. Who had established all the ends of the earth? Come on. What is his name? They say, what is his name? Go ahead. What is his son's and name? And what is his son's name? If thou can tell. If you could tell. So why would that scripture be there? If his name was Jesus. And that's Jesus. His name ain't no damn Jesus. His name is Yahweh Shah. His father's name is Yahweh. That's right. Good. This is Exodus chapter 23, Come verse on. 20. Come on. Behold, I send an angel before thee Come to on. keep thee in the way uh -huh. and to bring thee in the place which I have prepared. Uh -huh. Beware of him and obey his voice. Provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgression, uh -huh. for my name is in him. Let's say my name is in him. That's right. Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah? The name is identical. No. Uh, Yahweh Shah is mean what? Salvation. Save your people. Save people. Yahweh means wish to be. He exists. No. No. God. They're selling up poop. No. If Jehovah. And if you look at the word Jehovah, that's what's written in the Bible. It is all capital letters. Right. Don't be deceived. It is written in capital letters. Alright? In a few areas, and they put in. Right? Because that, that name was put in there. If his name was Jehovah, why would Christ make this statement? 
in John 17, John chapter 17, verse 26. And I have declared unto uh -huh. them. Uh -huh. And who did them? You're talking about the nation of Israel. That's why right. he said in Matthew 15, 24, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. No, who are? Right. The house of Israel. Right. 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 I have declared unto them thy name. Come on. And will declare it that the love where thou hast loved me may be in them and I in them. That's right. Now who is everybody? Now who he declare the name to? Uh, we, 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 gonna, we gonna mix with this, right? We won't miss with the, like turntables, right? Now give me Psalms 22, verse 22 real quick. Ooh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now give me Hebrews 2, verse 9 real quick. Let's dance with it. And we're going to break down the word brethren. Right? Psalms Psalm, Psalm 22. Yeah, come on. Verse 22, David said. Come on. I will declare thy name unto my brethren. Unto who? My brethren. So now when you, read the, when you break down the word brethren, that means what? Your own nation. Yeah. Your kinfolk. Yeah, this brother's my brethren. You my brethren. You my brethren. You my brethren. You, my brethren. These two men are my brethren. All these men behind me is my brethren. That's right. The brethren means what? Your own nation. Kinfolk. Your kinfolk. Your kinsmen. All right? Yeah. So now go ahead and read again. I will declare thy name unto my brethren. Unto what? Unto my brethren. Uh -huh. In the midst of the congregation when I praise thee. When I praise thee. Hey. Now some, some fool might catch me on YouTube and say, boy, that's the Old Testament. All right, we're going to go to what? To the New Testament. We're going to go to the but go, 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 go. I want here. Yeah, go, 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 go. I want here. Go this is Acts 7, verse 22. And Moses was learned in all the wisdom of the Egyptians uh -huh. and was mighty in words and in deed. Come on. Verse 23. And when he was full 40 years old, it uh -huh. came uh -huh. into his heart uh -huh. to visit his brethren. Visit who? To visit his brethren. Right. The brethren of who? The nation of Israel. The children of Israel. Oh, the children of Israel. So why more did he consider Egypt and his brethren? Uh -huh. I, I, I'll, 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 give me, give me Hebrews. Give me Hebrews um, 2 verse 12. That's right. Come on, let's see what the new Testament says. Hebrews 2 verse 12. Yeah, come on. Say, I will declare thy name uh -huh. unto my brethren. Unto who? Unto my brethren. Unto my brethren. That's in the New Testament. Uh -huh. In the midst of uh -huh. the church, uh -huh. when I sing, uh -huh. That's unto thee. That's right. This is the church right here. The word church means it's a Latin word called Iglesia. It means what to call it. Oh, 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 Ain't talking about the seven day Adventist church. It ain't talking about the Roman Catholic, the Orthodox, the Ethiopian church. It ain't talking about the Mormon. It ain't talking about the Muslim church. This is the church right here. That's right. He said, go around the hedges and compare my people to come in. Right? That's right. This is the true church. This is the little sanctuary that the Most High is dealing with, man. Right. Because the Most High works in small numbers, not big numbers, man. Now, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Back to the Old Testament. This this is Hebrews chapter 15 verse 12. Yeah, come on. And if thy brother, a Hebrew man, Ooh. or a Hebrew woman, yeah, come on. be sold unto thee, and serve thee six years, uh -huh. then, it, then in the seventh year thou shalt set him go free from That's thee. right. So it's about who? The nation of Israel. Have a nice precept. Yeah, come on. Nehemiah 5 verse 1. And there was a great cry come on. of the people, uh -huh. of their wives, against their brethren. Against who? The brethren. Yeah, come on. The Jews. The Jews, man. This is Romans, man. Now give me some of the Bible words. Give me some of the Hebrews. chapter 1, 1. Second Maccabees one and one. Uh -huh. Romans uh -huh. chapter nine verse three. Yeah, go ahead. For I would, I could wish my that myself were a curse from uh -huh. Christ for my brethren, uh -huh. my kinsmen, uh -huh. according to the flesh. According to the flesh, but they say, guess what? They you say spiritual Israelite. That's BS, man. You can be an Israelite by what? By the flesh. And the, the flesh. way you please the most high is by what? Living in the spirit. Yeah. Like God. Who are Israelites? Who are what? Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? To whom pertain the adoption uh -huh. and the glory uh -huh. and the covenant and the giving of the law and the service of the Most High uh -huh. and the promises. That's right. The law was given to the nation of Israel. The Israel promise was given to us. Psalm. We're going to inherit the kingdom of heaven. All right? Yeah, go ahead. Psalm 22 or 32. Yeah, come on. I will declare thy name unto thy praise. I will declare thy name what? Thy praise. Right, come on. In the midst of the congregation with thy praise. Uh huh. Ye that fear the Lord, praise him. And, and. All ye the seed of Jacob. Now, guess what? As he mentioned that, Paul used the word brethren. Now, let's go to Romans 10, verse 1. Let's go to Romans 10, verse 1. Somebody give me that real quick. Brethren, my heart's desire. Yeah, come on. And prayer to Yahweh. For Israel is that they might be saved. That they what? That they might be saved. That they might be saved. 
for I bear them record uh -huh. they have a zeal for the most high. Yes, right. A lot of, a lot of some of the from the Catholics have zeal for the most high, but not what? I'm but not, not according to knowledge. Not according to knowledge. Paul was talking to his brethren, man, right? that Israel could be saved. saved. Yeah, he rich. The Gentiles are going by The Gentiles are in a state of, uh, in a state of mind because it was doing what the Greeks and the Romans was doing. It was eating pork, right? They were going to commit adultery, fornication.